Hi everybody, it's Robert Earl out here at the Eco Ranch in Far West Texas. I'm going to show you a little bit about bottle bricks today. Now, bottle bricks, I'll define that in a moment, but let me tell you, there are several different ways of doing it. I've seen probably five or six different ways of making bottle bricks, and I don't think any one is better or worse than the other. It's just a matter of what suits you and what you have the equipment for. So, in my case, when I say a bottle brick, I'm talking about not a bottle and building, building with it and saying, okay, that's a brick. A bottle brick, what a lot of people define as a bottle brick, is where you cut the bottoms off and tape them together. Now, I'm working on these bottle bricks of mine right now have to be six inches thick. They could have easily gone to nine inches. And we'll tape them in, in a minute, but that would be what some people call a bottle brick, and you can make them at different lengths. When I built my kitchen, and um, when I built the bathroom, the guest bathroom here, I believe I went 14 inches thick. I think, I've, I think I'm 14 inches thick on them. Uh, and, and the advantage to doing a bottle brick, putting the bottoms together, is that it looks good from both sides. Uh, you can build a bottle house or a bottle wall and have the uh, neck sticking out to one side. And if that's okay with you, if that's the look you want, or if it's a livestock um, uh, building where it doesn't matter, then by all means, you know, a bottle is just fine. I like to use the bottles, and I'll pick these two up again. When I'm building my walls, I like to use the bottles in this fashion. I build with them like that. And you can make your length, you can vary your length. You can even do this. This is what I've been doing now on, the, um, on my uh, chicken house construction. You can even make it really wide and fill the inside with rock, gravel, trash, which again, that's what I'm doing and that'll, that'll be in some future videos. But for our purpose today, what, we're go what I'm going to show you is how I cut, and I need my safety glasses to cut. Now, to cut, you can use a wet saw, a tile saw, and I spent a lot of money on wet saws. I have two. I have one that's very expensive that I've used three times. I have one that I spent like $89 on. Use it all the time. And I also had this blade, and I'm going to readjust the camera here so that you can see. So, you don't get to look at my ugly face, you just get to look at the saw. This is a, a, a typical table saw, it's an inexpensive one that I bought, but this is a blade that I bought that I paid about a hundred dollars for this diamond blade. And I would never have tried to use it to cut glass with, except I thought, well, it was already in here because I was cutting rock. So let me give it a try uh, on my bottle bricks, it'll just save me a little bit of effort turns out it works perfectly and let me show you got to put the safety glasses on never 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 work with glass or even rock without safety glasses so got my safety glasses on I've got this I've got the um, I've got the saw set for three inches you can see there's my three inches and it cuts very easily but it does put out um, it does put out dust and I don't think you really want to breathe that dust, so either wear a respirator or hold your breath, which is what I do. I hold my breath. So let's turn it on and cut this one. Now what, I, what you're going to see when I cut it is I'm going to go into it a little bit until it breaks through the bottle, and then I'm actually going to turn the bottle. I am not going to run the pass this way. I've tried that, and it either doesn't cut right and cracks or if you skew the bottle just a little bit one way or the other it'll bind against um, what the hell is this thing called I can't remember but it'll bind against this and since the blade's spinning this way it'll shoot it right out here at you best case scenario is it whacks you and stings you worst case is it cuts you so watch how I do this and that's and it, it may I'll show you the cut disadvantage I don't have this where I can see what I'm showing you there we go the disadvantage to um, using a dry saw like this is you can see that the edge is a little um, 
uh, a little cracked and crazed. If that's okay with you, then by all means a dry saw is fine. Mind the dust. Don't, don't let that dust get you. Now, we're going to go ahead and tape these together. Because there's glass particles on the table saw, I'm using a little piece of plywood. You need two. And tape. Tape's another thing. I had been using, um, I had been using duct tape. And I happened to have this painter tape here and ran out of duct tape. Rather than make a trip into town, I said, let me use a painter's tape. Personally, for all the, pe all the um, bricks I've used, I would go ahead and use painter's tape. It's, it's worked perfectly. Now, everybody's got their own way of doing this, so I'm just showing you my way and you can develop your own. I put it about halfway on the tape, about halfway on the tape, near the very end. Bring it around, grab it, grab it. See my fingers there? Wrap it. You want to make sure that the tape, you get the tape all the way around. Now you can also see how that seam is. You're always going to have a tiny little gap. You can always push that together. See how I pushed it? Always push that together. Now I've got a six inch bottle brick. Whoops, got it way up in the air here. Got a six inch bottle brick here that, um, that I can go ahead and, and put in place. Uh, when I mortar it, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and point the, um, the, the mortar in between the joints down to about where, my, where I'm running my finger back and forth. That just lets more light in. This is for my chicken house, uh, one of my chicken house walls, and I'm doing it so I get light in. So I definitely want to get as much light as I can into the chicken house. So that's how I make bottle bricks. Um, I'm doing about 400 of them. It's, it takes pretty much a day, and then it, it typically mortars in like anything else. Um, if you're interested in doing something like this, go ahead and give it a try. I think I would recommend getting a nice diamond blade and using your table saw like this, unless for some reason you need a straight cut, or you want to do an angle cut. Cut, them at a, cut an angle, and then make a 90 or a 45 or, or any kind of angle you, you want. Uh, then you'd want to use a wet saw, but the dry saw worked perfectly. You can see I taped up the rough edges anyway, and there we go. And until next time, it's Robert Earl out here at the Eco Ranch saying bye for now.